Hey everyone and welcome, I'm Matt with Chaparral Motorsports. Welcome to our head to toe off-road gear guide. I'm going to show you a few things that we've put together that will benefit you out on the trail. So let's take a look. So I've come up with a list of gear that I think is super beneficial out there on the trail. This stuff is extremely durable, very versatile, and also very functional. So what we're going to do is talk about each one of these products in general, and also just talk about what I like about them also. We're going to start this off with base layers. Base layers are super important because they're moisture wicking, very breathable, they're stretchy, and some of them actually house armor like the Troily Designs 7605 shorts. Now these are great because it's more of a compression style of a short. It's not going to chafe, they're not going to slip down on you during a ride, and most importantly they have armor built right into it. These shorts in particular have the Shock Doctor technology, which is an energy absorbing material that's going to take that initial shock away from your body in the event of a crash. And there's all sorts of padding in these things as well, so they're extremely comfortable to wear on longer rides. The other thing I like about it is the X-Fit technology. This is a certain way of putting the panels together so you're not going to feel where any of the seams come together. And again, it's going to be very stretchy and moisture wicking. Now we're going to jump up to the Liet 3DF vest. This is the AirFit light version, so it doesn't have the sleeves and the built-in elbow armor. And I chose this because it offers a little bit more versatility. Now the great thing about this vest is that it does have that compression style of a fit. It's very athletic and it's also very stretchy, so it's going to move any way that you're moving. It also has the moisture cool material built right in, so it's going to pull that sweat away from your body to keep you dry and cool at the same time. Of course, it is an impact protection, so you have CE Level 1 rated armor in the chest as well as the back. It has adjustments and also other built-in padding to give you even more protection out there on the trail. Now let's jump right into some elbow and knee protection. We chose the Liet Airflex elbow and knee guards because they're extremely low profile, which is going to work perfectly underneath your jersey and the pant. Now let's focus on the elbow guard specifically first and then we'll jump to the knees. What I like about these is that it has that silicone bead on the inside so it's going to keep it up nice and high on your arm and keep that armor where it should be. The actual material that's going to save you in the event of a crash has that energy absorbing technology as well so it's pliable, it's breathable but it is going to be energy absorbing. The main material of the guard is made with moisture cool, so again it's going to have that cooling effect and pull that sweat away from your body, and it's extremely breathable. That air flows right through these things, so essentially you don't feel that they're on your body. We chose the Pro model in the knee guards because it has more padding available on the top side of your knee as well as the side, so it's going to protect you against those branches, possibly your bars, and it has the same properties as the elbow guard. So again, minimalistic, very low profile, but very effective. And to finish out your base layers, we're going to talk about some Stance Moto Socks. These are simply cool because they're side specific, so you have a left and a right side. So it's going to have more of an ergonomic fit. They're also built with multiple panels and different materials, so it's going to be very moisture wicking. It's going to have a great feel against your skin, and they're just going to fit better. And of course, they have tons of cool designs to choose from, so that's why we chose the Stance Moto Socks. Let's move on to the jersey and pants. We chose some Climb gear because Climb is known for making some of the most durable products out there. I think they're well worth the money because they're going to last you season after season. And might I add, this is the Mojave jersey which has a matching Mojave pant and that's extremely well ventilated, made with a lot of mesh. However, I chose to go with the Dakar pant because it offers a little bit more versatility for all year riding. This is going to have a water resistant property to it and it has a ton of ventilation. So you can get these wet, but when you're hot, you can slide those vents open, which is going to give you a ton of airflow. And I chose the vented jersey because we have a jacket to go along with this, which I'll get to in just a second. So let's focus on the pants first and we'll move up. First off, they're made with 420D and 840D. So you have a lot of durable materials. This is also made with Cordura, so it's extremely, extremely durable nylon. You also have a bit of storage, and what I like about these is just the amount of flex that they have. You have a ton of stretch panels across the seat of the pant, down the legs, behind the knees, you have them in the front of the knees. So if you're on some really technical stuff, these are gonna move with you very well. Now as far as that goes, the jersey is going to offer a ton of airflow, which again, like I said before, it's very important when you're out there mixing it up on the trail to cool your body down. This is going to reduce fatigue. 
So in the main spots of this jersey, in those key heat zones, you have larger hold mesh to get some more air pumping through here. But in the main body, you have tighter hold mesh. So this is gonna allow airflow, but also keep the roost out. And then if you take a look at the collar and down the shoulders, you have a different material here. This has larger hold mesh, but it has a film over it or a little bit of fabric to allow the airflow, but again, keep the roost out. So extremely technical jersey and the material is very durable. This has a higher tenacity than other jerseys out there on the market, which makes it perfect for on the trail or even desert riding. And that also goes to show you that you can cross blend different climb products because they're gonna all work seamlessly together. And now for that jacket that I'm talking about, this is actually the matching Dakar jacket in their Dakar series. So it has all of the same properties pretty much as this pant here. So it's made with 420, also 840D Cordura. So it's extremely durable, especially in those high abrasion zones. You have all the great zippers, you have tons of pockets and storage. And what's really cool about it is that you have accordion style stretch panels in the shoulders, but you can also zip off the sleeves and put them in the back pocket. So you can stow them on your person. It's very easy to get to and what I love about the climb to car jacket is that that back zipper is actually angled so it's much easier to get to when the jacket's actually on your body and with that being said there's also tons of features on the inside like a nice mesh liner it's also d3o compatible so if you wanted to ramp up your protection or you just wanted the impact armor on the jacket you can do so and upgrade that armor you have pockets on the inside for even more storage and tools. So this thing is simply great and definitely a nice addition to the off-road package that we have here on the table. For our next topic, we're gonna jump into some boots and for that we chose the CD Crossfire 2 TA model, which has a more traditional style sole, which is stitched on and it even has a steel toe cap. Now the great thing about the Crossfires is that you can completely rebuild this boot. So you can really put them through the ringer and not have to worry about it because you can replace just about everything on these boots here. They're fully adjustable in the shin and calf area. You can actually make this diameter much larger. So if you wear knee braces or if you have larger caps, these are gonna fit you perfectly. The buckles on them are great. They're just like butter. You have that cam lock style buckle, which is very positive locking. The straps are all memory, so you can set it and forget it just once and then go about your ride. And the other nice thing about these things is that it has a lot of ankle protection because it is a hinge style boot. It's also very flexible right out of the box, so it takes no time to get used to these things. And recently they've added some more ventilation through these, so they're gonna breathe well. This is obviously a new colorway. We have the gray and high vis, which matches up perfectly with the rest of the gear that we have here on the table and really just sets it off. So these are the Crossfire 2 TAs from CD. Now let's jump right into some off-road accessories like the OGO 450 MX tool bag. This is great because when you're far away from camp or your truck, you really want to have extra tools and supplies. So this is going to distribute the weight very nicely. It's going to put it towards the back of your body. So it's not going to be in the way and it's also going to be very comfortable while you're wearing this thing. You have multiple pockets, two smaller ones on the side. You have a tool pouch in here in the center. And what I really like about this OGO 450 MX tool bag is the grip that it has on the inside of this tool pack. So it's very, very comfortable, it's convenient, and it's definitely gonna give you that extra storage that you're looking for. Another important off-road accessory that you'll need is a hydration pouch. So for that, we chose the Fly Racing XC70. This thing is great. It's also a newer model, and I like everything that they did with it. So first off, you have storage in the front. You also have a large enough pouch to hold your 70 ounce bladder. It comes with a bite valve. You have really nice webbing on the strap. So it's gonna be breathable, lightweight, and very comfortable because you have huge pads behind this thing to make it comfortable against the body. I really like the way that it adjusts. So it can fit many different types of riders. It adjusts on the inside strap as well as the side strap. So you can really fine to the fit so it's close to your body and not slouching around everywhere. The zipper pull tabs make it very easy when you do have gloves on. And of course it has that really cool colorway to again match perfectly with this setup of gear. So once again, this is the Fly Racing XC70 Hydration Pack. The helmet that we went for is the Arrive VX Pro 4. This thing is great because it's made with a super fiberglass shell, which is gonna be very, very strong. It's rigid, but it's also going to absorb the energy very nicely because of that dual density EPS liner. 
Now, the other great thing about this helmet is that it's very round. So if you do happen to go down, these vents and this visor are all designed to shear away in the event of a crash to reduce rotational force. It's also very breathable. You have multiple intake vents through the front. This is actually a newer feature where they move that mouth vent to the outside, and you can also adjust the intake in that as well, which is really cool if it gets a little dusty. Now, the actual helmet itself, very, very comfortable. It is lightweight. In a size medium, it weighs 3.4 pounds. The inside liner is very plush. It's comfortable against the skin. It's all moisture wicking, removable and washable. And the internal padding is very nice as well and you can adjust it for your specific head shape. Or if you need a little bit of relief, you have five millimeter tear away pads. So it's fully customizable. This is definitely one of the flagship model helmets in general. So this is a great option from Arai. Choosing the right goggle is also another important step. So for that, the Oakley air brakes were a no-brainer because these have an injected molded plutonite lens, which is impact resistant. It's a very thick polycarbonate and it's molded into frame, so it's gonna be optically correct. These are also the new prism lens, which is a new technology Oakley just released. Very, very cool stuff here. You pretty much have three different lenses to choose from that are all trail specific. So you have some for trail riding, off-road riding, desert riding, and even track riding. Really cool stuff. You can definitely check it out on the site shopmoto.com. So with that being said, these are some of the best goggles out there on the market. To finish this package off, we have the Climb Mojave Glove. These are great because they're extremely breathable. You have a lot of mesh throughout the entire body of these things. You have a reinforced palm. There's tons of padding, and I really like how the material wraps around the fingers for extra durability. So there it is. That is our off-road head-to-toe gear guide. We chose this stuff because of the high quality, but with high quality comes a higher price. If you're looking for something more affordable or to fit your budget, make sure you head to the site shopmoto.com where you can see plenty of other options available. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. I'm Matt. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.